We start with four, but in the end there can be only one. Kia ora, ko Chris Takuingua, and this is Brain Busters. Who has the mind power to make it all the way through the rounds and end up at this? The Brain Buster. Malo Elele, it's the one and only Mikey Falesiu. Let's hope our top two contestants are up for today's challenge. It all gets real when you face the ultimate obstacle course. The only question is, who will get there? And don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. and welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate brain buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before we make our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to get enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet them now. Firstly, Leona, welcome to the show. King Netball player, what position are we? Defence. All about defence. Can we defend your three opponents today on Brain Busters? hope so. We will see. Kai Ying, welcome to the show. Also, what do you like to do when you're not at school? Um, I like to play badminton and squash. How long have you been playing badminton for? Um, just for like a year. So pretty competitive then? Yeah. Needed here. Pierce, what do you love to do in your spare time? Uh, I like to play video games in my spare time. Epic! What video game are we currently playing at the moment? Um, I'm playing a game called Hollow Knight where you have to um, solve like this infection that's going across the world. So you have to house it inside yourself so that nobody else gets infected. So you're like a superhero then? Yes. Epic, Pierce! And we have Ben. Welcome to the show, Ben. You're right into your Lego. What's the coolest Lego model we've made? Uh, Lego Land Rover Defender. So how many pieces was that? Uh, like upwards of 2,500. And how long? Six-ish hours to build. Very impressive. All of you have quite the repertoire of strengths. Let's see how they stack up here on Brain Busters. We'll get into our first round of the day and play Mega Memory. It all starts here. A lot of points up for grab in Mega Memory, so let's jump straight in. Good luck, team. Cut a fewer. Your time starts now. Which is the New Zealand band? 1230 or 660? Leona. 660. In T-ball, what is used to hit the ball? Pierce. A bat. What do you normally jump out of when you are skydiving? Pierce. A plane. In which room in the house would you usually find an electric jug? Pierce. The kitchen. What is the name of the first theme park created by Walt Disney? Pierce. Disneyland. Which is heavier, a gram or a kilogram? Leona. A kilogram. The seventh and eighth Harry Potter movies share which name? Pierce. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Which is the highest mountain in the world? Ben. Mount Everest. Which weeknight TV show is hosted by Hilary Barry and Jeremy Wells? Seven Sharp. How many people have walked on the moon? Pierce. Uh, pass. 12. What is the four-letter word beginning with L that describes money that you borrow and need to pay back? Pierce. Loan. Complete the title of this TV show. Britain's got... Leona. Talent. Who keeps time in front of an orchestra? Pierce. A conductor. Which island nation lies directly to the east of Russia, North Korea and South Korea? Pierce. Japan. Do babies wear huggies on their feet or their bottoms? Ben. Bottom. Which of the following is not a Powerpuff Girl? Blossom, Bubble, Charlene. Pierce. Charlene. Author C.S. Lewis wrote The Lion, the Witch and the What? Kai Ying. Wardrobe. Which part of the body... I started so I'll finish. Which part of the body does an orthodontist work with? Leona. Mouth. Is the correct answer to our final question for Mega Memory. Very well played, everyone. Thanks for taking it on. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Pierce has 80 points. Leona is on 40 points. Ben has 20 points. And Kai Ying is on 10 points. We move now into our specialist subject rounds. And starting us off today will be Kai Ying. What have you chosen to play? Um, Equalizer. Thank you very much, Kai Ying. Let's play Equalizer. Kai Ying, please step forwards. One thing I've got to say to you, Kai Ying, you got this. 
just like your shirt says. Thank Let's you. get straight into equaliser. 20 points for each equation you get right. Here comes your first one. Seven eighths of 80 equals? 70. Correct. 12 multiplied by three plus 53 equals? 119. 89. 13 squared equals? 169. Nice work. The square root of 81 multiplied by 1.5 equals? 13.5. Nice. 44 multiplied by 3 Subtract 22 equals? 110. Finally, 10 cubed equals? A thousand. It sure is a thousand. Kaiying, well done. Quick on those answers there. Really well played. Thanks for taking on Equalizer. Thank you. Kaiying grabs onto the lead with 110 points. Now, though, trying to jump ahead of Kaiying will be Ben. So, what are you going to play, Ben? Spellbinder. Great choice. Let's play Spellbinder. Ben, please step forward. So what's going through your head after Mega Memory, Ben? Um, I just want to beat Pierce right now. You <laughs> just want to beat Pierce. He's looking pretty good on 80 points, right? Yes. Can we do it here? Yes, we can. Excellent. I love it. Let's go. First word. Tripod. T-R-I-P-O-D. Correct. Passive. P-A-S-S-I-V-E. Spell acre. Please, could you use that in a sentence? The size of the park is an acre in area. A-C-R-E. Well done. Migration. M-I-G-R-A-T-I-O-N. Porpoise. Please, could you use that in a sentence? The porpoise swam along beside the boat. P-O-R. P-I-S-E. Needed an O before that I, sorry. Oh, dang it. And finally, spell traffic. T-R-A-F-F-I-C. It's a quick way to spell traffic. Ben, great spelling. Thanks for taking on Spellbinder. Ben narrowly has the lead with 120 points. So we're halfway through our specialist subject rounds. If I can, a Leona and Pierce will take on the challenge as well. But of course, all of our players are hoping they can go head to the Brain Buster. Only two out of our four players will make it through to the Brain Buster. Will they be prepped and ready for this? The ultimate obstacle course? Only time will tell. We sure will, Mikey. Kia ora for that. And don't forget, you can play from home as well. Just head online to Hey Hey Games. Don't go anywhere. Me tonu mai. No my hockey my, welcome back to Brain Busters. Just before the break, we had Kaiying and Ben take on their specialist subject round, and coming up to the front now will be Leona. So what are you going to play, Leona? Identifier. Thank you very much. Let's play Identifier. Leona, please step forward. Some good scores so far, Leona, so we're gonna have to try and get some points as well to catch up. Best of luck, let's head into Identify now. Identify three foods that come from plants. Perfect start. Ōraki Mount Cook, Mount Taranaki, Mount Everest. Arrange these mountains in order of height from highest to lowest. Correct. 
identify the three items that are commonly found in a science lab. Selected those very quickly. Was it too fast though? Of course not. Well played, Leona. Plastic cup, tin can, vegetable. Arrange these items in order of the time it takes them to decompose, from shortest to longest. Another 20 points for Leona. Eliminate the three examples of metamorphic rock. Don't look too confident with this one, Leona. But is it right? Missed out, unfortunately. And finally, centimetre. Kilometre, metre. Arrange these measurement units in order from shortest to longest. I think this one's correct, Leona. Not of approval. Let's check. Three green means 20 more points. Leona, thank you so much for taking on Identifier. With 140 points, Leona finds herself in first place. So there is one player remaining to take on their specialist subject round, and that player is Pierce. What are you going to play, Pierce? I'm going to play Blue Printer. Excellent. Let's play Blue Printer. Pierce, please step forward. Eighty points after mega memory. Yeah. What do we think of that score? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's really good. The question is, can we back it up here with blue printer? Definitely. Excellent. You're going to have thirty seconds to have a look at what your blue printer is. Thirty more seconds to put in your answers. Here comes your blue printer. It's Tynemouth Priory and Castle. Your time starts now. Covered in stone in 1296 and one of the largest fortified sites in England, Tynemouth Castle was also the burial place of three ancient Northumbrian kings dating back to 651. Situated upon cliffs overlooking the North Sea, the impressive site has been an Iron Age settlement, Anglo-Saxon monastery, a royal castle and a coastal defence in World War I and II. Time's up. 30 seconds on the clock to put your answers in, which starts now. Pierce, you are very quick yeah. entering all those locations. Do we think we were maybe too quick or have we got uh, them all right? I'm not sure about one of them, but... Which one aren't you sure about? Uh, the Great Court. Should we start with that? Yep. Let's do it. Great Court. Uh. Not right. That's OK. We thought it might not be right. Yeah. Now we hope to see a whole lot of green. Next one. That's the start we want. The mount is correct. It's two. Make it three. Woodley Tower is right. Prior's Haven is correct as well. Can we make it six out of seven? Yes, we can. Wonderful stuff, Pierce. A big smile on your face, and I can yeah. see why. Well played. Thanks for taking on Blue Printer. So, all of our players have completed their specialist subject round. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. 
Pierce takes back the lead with 200 points. Leona has 140 points. Ben has 120 points. And Kaying has 110 points. So some fantastic scores there today for Brain Busters. But unfortunately, we have to eliminate someone. And I'm sorry to say, Kaying, it is you. The good news is you've got yourself a $100 bank account. So what are you going to do with the money? Um, I guess I'm just going to save it up for the future. A smart choice indeed. Kai Ying, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thank you. Kakiti anō. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. Go time is just around the corner and the Brain Buster is ready. I hope our players are. They sure are, Mikey. In fact, they're super ready right now for the Brain Teaser. All of our players today have gone through their specialist subject rounds and we're left with two options for our players to choose from. Today, those options are Sequencer or Reo Rangatera. So, Leona, Pierce and Ben, please select which one you would like to play now. Thank you for voting, everyone. We'll start with Leona, who is selected to play Sequencer. Ben would like to play Reo Rangatera. And Pierce would like to play Sequencer. Thank you all for voting. Let's play Sequencer. Some excellent points on the board at the moment, but how many more can we add? Let's find out now for the brain teaser. Good luck, everyone. Cut a few. Hamilton, Lower Hutt, Nelson. Put these New Zealand cities in order of population, from smallest to largest. Pierce. Lower Hutt, Nelson, Hamilton. Pierce has that lead at the moment, wanting to extend it further. And can't do it with that one. Peter Rabbit, Night at the Museum, Free Willy. In which order were these films first released? Pierce. Free Willy, Night at the Museum, Peter Rabbit. Pierce wasting no time wanting to claim those points back. And that does it. US Open, Wimbledon, Australian Open. In what order are these tennis grand slams usually held from earliest in the year to latest? Ben. Australian Open, Wimbledon, US Open. Ben, in the hot seat right now, trying to avoid elimination. Needs this to be right. And it is. PlayStation 2, Game Boy, Nintendo Entertainment System. In which order were these gaming consoles released? Pierce. Game Boy, Nintendo Entertainment System, and PlayStation 2. In which order were these gaming consoles released from earliest to most recent? That is not the order we needed. I'm sorry, Pierce. Finally, for sequencer, Jacinda Ardern gives birth to Neve Te Aroha. New Zealand first wins the America's Cup. Te Reo Māori recognised as an official language. Put these historical New Zealand events into the order of occurrence. Leona. Te Reo Māori recognised as an official language. New Zealand wins first, America's Cup, and Jacinda Ardern gives birth. Leona waited patiently for the final question. Now in that elimination position. Can it be right? Yes, it can. Well played, Leona, and great job, everyone, during that round. Let's take a look now at our final leaderboard. Leona and Pierce now share first place with 170 points. Then we have Ben on 150 points. So, Ben, I'm sorry to say, you've got yourself 150 points, but today it's just not enough, so you have been eliminated from Brain Busters. Unlucky, my friend, but you do have a $100 bank account, so what will you be doing with that? Uh, either save it or spend it on a new bike helmet. Excellent decision. Thank you for playing, Ben. 
and congratulations to Leona and Pierce. For them, it's now on to the Brain Buster. The Brain Buster ain't playing around. Who's going home a winner? Don't move a muscle. We'll find out very soon. Welcome back to the show. Our Brain Buster is ready, and our two players are up for the challenge. So take it away, Mikey. It's crunch time for our top two contestants. Here they are standing ready to go. You guys ready to do this? Nice, here we go. Three, two, one, take off! For Pierce and Leona, it all comes down to this. Who will come out of the ultimate obstacle course a winner and take on Amygdala? First job is to unclip from the harnesses and head down the neurotransmitter. Both are smashing through the molecule steps and head for the corpus callosum. Remembering that combination is critical. Pierce has pulled out in front and arrives at the hippocampus first. Has he got the code? You know it. And what about Leona? For sure. Pierce climbs up the prior to low, but Leona is having a little bit of trouble. Pierce now crawling through the tunnel. This is really helping his lead. Keep pushing, Leona, you've got this. Using every fiber in her body to get up the parental lobe, Leona is up. Time to chase down Pierce. Pierce will have to step quickly across the frontal lobe to stay ahead of Leona. Ooh, she's starting to catch up, but Pierce activates his switches at the DNA molecule ladder and only has the basal ganglia left. Leona is putting everything into this race, but Pierce is just too fast today. He hits the buzzer and that will be the race. Leona not giving up at all though. She activates the switches and will come through the basal ganglia to complete the ultimate obstacle course. Well done, Leona. Great job, both of you. Leona, I'll get you to come across this way and we'll start with you. The ultimate obstacle course, it's pretty ultimate, isn't it? <laughs> Happy that you've completed it, though? Yeah. You've done a fantastic job. Second place today on Brain Busters, so you've got yourself a $100 bank account. What are you going to do with the money, Leona? Uh, I'm probably going to save this. Smart choice. Thanks for coming on to the show. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Pierce, big smile on that face once again. Congratulations. Yeah. You are today's Brain Buster champion. What's Woo! going on? <laughs> Fair enough. How does it feel? It feels amazing, actually. I'm really chuffed with myself. As you should be. There is one thing left to do, though, Pierce, and that is taking on Amygdala. Pierce, a big welcome to the final round of Brain Busters. Amygdala, you've made it. Yuck. How does it feel to be here? I feel like this isn't real. <laughs> Well, it is real. Yeah. And let me make it a little more real for you when I tell you you're playing for $340. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of money, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know it's a lot of money. How much can we win? All of it? Most of it. <laughs> Most of it? Slightly confident? Yuck. All right, let's get into it. Pierce, best of luck. How many years in half a decade? Five. Correct. What is the surname of fictional detective Sherlock? Holmes. Well played. What is the square root of 49? Seven. Some quick maths on that one. Toms, symbols, hi-hats and snares are all components of what musical instrument? Drums. Locking these answers in super fast. On which coast of the South Island is Westland? The West? <laughs> Don't think it could be a trick question. I feel like... Yeah, I think it's the West Coast. And you got it. Next up, which video game company released Super Mario Kart? Nintendo. Of course you got that one right. Do most New Zealanders 
use the PAYE tax system or the ASMR tax system? The PAYE. They do indeed. Finish the title of the Maroon 5 and Christina Aguilera song. Moves like... Me. Not me. Moves like Jagger. Ah. Classic from them. Beginning with D. Which South Island city is known as the Edinburgh of the South? Is it Dunedin? Are you asking me or telling me? It, it, it is. is Dunedin. It is? You're yeah. sure it is? Dunedin, yes. It is Dunedin. And finally, the song, Tu Te Mai, is in which language? Maori. Indeed it is in, Te Reo Maori. Congratulations, Pierce. A great effort. You've won $306. <laughs> A whole lot of money. The question is, what are we going to do with it all? I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy some RAM for my computer. More processing power to make you play better? Yeah. That's the one. P.S. it's been great having you here on the show. Congratulations, $306. If you feel like you can conquer the brain buster, then jump online and head to Hey Hey Games. Tēnā koutou i te mātaki mai. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.